Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, we are here today to announce the flag bearer for the closing ceremony for the New Zealand Olympic Games team. And we're really excited to have chosen a person who's had an outstanding career. They've done five Olympic Games. They've been an incredible contributor to the Olympic team values. And they are a really great contributor and laid a foundation for so many athletes who have been able to compete alongside as well. So we're delighted to announce for the very first time, carrying the flag into the closing ceremony, will be Dame Valerie Adams. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> So there you go, we've got some perspex separating, separating us. So this has been done in a very COVID friendly way. So there's a, a significant barrier there. <laughs> if I say the wrong thing, you can, uh, there's a, might, might whack me. But Dane Valley, congratulations. Magnificent honour and very befitting. How does it feel to be now announced as, close, as, as closing, bearer, closing ceremony flag bearer and to be carrying the flag in for the very first time? Um, I'm pretty excited, very humbled and honoured to be able to carry uh, the flag for our team um, going into the closing ceremony tonight. It's been an amazing games for us as a country and I'm just looking forward to walking out there with, uh, with pride and hold the flag up high. Well done. And how, how have you found these games? I mean, what a, what a remarkable achievement to fit in everything you have with the young family uh, off, the, off a, what is already a, a very distinguished career. How's it been to get to this point? It's been quite the journey. It hasn't all been easy or um, uh, fussy as, as we would say, but it's taken a, a whole village to make this happen and a great team um, around me to, to get to this point. Having two young children at home obviously makes it a little bit more harder, but um, the, the drive is still there, the motivation is still there, they inspire me on a daily basis, so hopefully I've made um, them proud and also my country proud. It was wonderful to see you holding those images of them and, and what a wonderful role model for people right around the world for what you've been able to achieve. So congratulations on that. And you mentioned your team and the people that have been supporting you. How has the team environment been within Athletics New Zealand and then the wider Olympic Committee Games team these, at, the, at these Tokyo Olympic Games? To be honest, it's, honest, it's been quite um, amazing, uh, the whole unit, and, and, and we've, I felt like we've all united, not only within the athletics um, team, but also as a whole. Um, the NZOC have done an amazing job of making sure that we feel welcomed and we feel part of this massive team, obviously quite a special Olympics with uh, COVID, but um, I'm pretty sure that the performances speak for themselves in saying that we've done uh, very, very well as a country. And again, hopefully we have made um, New Zealand proud and hopefully we can celebrate every medal that we've won, not only the gold, but also the silver and the bronze, because it has taken the team effort and hopefully we've done, and um, we've made everybody happy and actually taken the opportunity to um, give everybody around the world a chance to just focus on the Olympic Games and not uh, the pandemic that we're in at the moment. Yeah, well, there's certainly been a lot of exciting action and uh, amazing feats from, from throughout the entire team. So well done on your role in that. And I guess what's next for you, Dame Bell? So obviously tonight you've got a very important role. Uh, and then what are we allowed to get any sort of little insights <laughs> as to what's around the corner as to uh, the next weeks, months and, and years? <laughs> uh, so basically tomorrow I go into camp uh, with the Paralympic team with uh, my sister Lisa and I'll be taking on the, co the coaching role there. And then it's time to go home and have a bit of a break and take a bit of a breather and then into uh, a review process. Um, I haven't kind of made any plans as far as next year is concerned, but all I'd say is watch this space. Um, never underestimate the Val. Um, she has a lot of talents and one of them is, is making plans that really suits, suits her and, and her family. But I'm looking forward to what's in store for me in the future. But yeah, it'll be good. Awesome, well done. And I guess just on a final question for me, mm -hmm. uh, you've been an inspiration to so many people over so many years. Any, any messages you'd like to pass on to young kids in New Zealand that might be watching this right now and how they can uh, climb to the amazing levels that you have? Well, hopefully everybody in New Zealand, um, young and old, has, has enjoyed these games and hopefully along the way we've inspired our next uh, future generation, especially with uh, future Olympians, I should say. Um, hopefully you guys have drawn inspiration for and motivation for all our, all our amazing accomplishments here in Tokyo. But first and foremost, uh, pick something that you enjoy to do, love it with passion, and then put, uh, be prepared to put in the hard work because being here at the Olympics is a privilege and an honor, and winning medals is definitely um, no easy feat. So be prepared to work for it, but at the same time, enjoy, have fun, and keep smiling. Awesome. Okay, well, well done. Thanks, Dane Bell. Excellent sort of closing words there to apply right throughout life as much as sport. So well done. You've been an incredible role model and we're just delighted to have you carrying the flag tonight and representing New Zealand. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. High five. High five. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, it's fist pump, isn't it? There you go. That's there you it. Go. <laughs> well done.